Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm your host, The Squid. So, in mixed martial arts, it's very common for guys to do a high crotch takedown to a double leg. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to stop that high crotch, end up in a submission, and also end up on top by defending it. Let's bring one in so I can show you how to do this move. So, in fighting, a lot of guys go for the high crotch. So essentially, a high crotch is when a guy will shoot his arm all the way up into a guy's crotch to grab one leg, and he usually looks to switch off to a double leg takedown. So, I'm gonna show you pretty much how to defend this. So, he goes for the high crotch, bam, right here. So actually, let's spin around. So, so, so the audience can see where your arm's going. So he goes, bam, he's in there with a high crotch, and usually a guy will look to switch his other hand to grab the leg, and then he does that. So the first thing you could do is, when he's holding on this leg, is control this elbow. Make a C with your hand, and control his elbow, because he's looking to grab my, grab my leg. Go to grab my leg. I can just push this down here, and he can't switch to double leg. So he, a lot of times a guy will come up to his feet and he'll have to stay with this high crotch because I'm not giving the other leg. So hold on to this leg. So one is just, I'm just gonna defend this, try to get my leg out of there. That's real basic, but it's not always gonna be like that. So what I like to do is, we're gonna do a nice little uh, takedown here. I control his head, kind of make him think I'm going for a guillotine. Now what I look to do is, spin, spin, spin. I'm gonna put my arm through here. I'm gonna look to grab a hold of his back. And what I'm gonna look to do, I'm gonna take a, my foot that's on the mat, I'm gonna jump towards him, sit to my butt, and I'm gonna kick him over. Sit, kick, and I come up. And now my hand that had that guillotine can still guillotine him. I can step up and get my submission here, or pull out. Land a strike. So I'm gonna show that again. So he has a high crotch. Bam, he's here, I'm controlling the elbow. I come through here. Everything is nice and tight. Pull him in, compact, make the choke seem real. When I wanna go for it, this foot's gonna jump between his legs, and I'm gonna look to, you know, the referees would probably wouldn't see this. So I look to kick him in the groin, and crip him over, I land. I could prop him up, tighten my choke, or go to my striking. That's number one. That's kind of dynamic, that's a little, little risky. Let's say I'm here, let's say there's 20 seconds left. I wanna take this guy's back, and I wanna, I wanna finish this fight. So what you can do is try to, try to take me down. See, it's hard for him to take me down from here. So I'm gonna, instead of jumping to the middle, like I did before, I'm gonna jump to the outside, and I'm gonna look to get my arm around his back. So he's here, I block. This is a really cool one to do right away. Arm comes over the back, and I just look to sit to the mat. And out here, I have myself a trapped arm, rear naked choke. Let me show that again. So, so he has me here, and I'm still, I'm still controlling this, this elbow. Still controlling this elbow, and what's gonna happen is when I jump around, I'm gonna put this heel here. That's what control, that's what traps the arm in. And all I do is look to fall to the mat, arm stays trapped, get myself a rear naked choke. I'm gonna show you the chalice, it's a wrestling move. Look to get something that looks like a guillotine. So there's two foot places I can go here. I get to put my foot on this knee, or I can come to the outside. But either way, my foot's gonna be facing this way. I'm, I either can get him here or here. And what I'm looking to do is that. See the motion, I'm raising up. I'm gonna keep his head tight. I'm gonna look to either trip him on the outside, keep this tight, and you end up here. I end up with somewhat of a guillotine. Usually won't be able to finish the guy. So I look to jump over take myself side control. I have this guillotine position, I'm defending, blocking the arm. So, 
Like I said, you can, either way, either leg. This will be less high flying, but it'll still do the job. I get him over. See, I still have control of his neck. If I want to be sneaky, I could lock my choke up and finish him, or just jump over and start working my ground and pound. So one more time. Sorry, high crotch. Bam. And I'm here. Wait, I can't get him there. Boom. Get him over. I still have this guillotine. I have to be careful that he will take my back. So I have to keep downward shoulder pressure towards him. I keep my elbow to the mat, downward shoulder pressure, but I have to jump over, jump over, and get yourself on top. Those are your three really cool and sneaky ways to defend against the high crotch. All right, so a quick recap of what to do against a high crotch. One is defend the arm that's making it go for a double leg. That'll save you a lot of trouble. When you're ready, take a hold of the guillotine, arm through the other side, kick, jump, spin over, end up on top, end up in a guillotine or do some ground and pound. Two, take the guy's back. Same thing, blocking the arm. Instead of jumping through the leg, we jump around, arm goes around the neck, drop to the mat, end up in a trapped arm guillotine or ground and pound again. And the last one is your chalice. So try to defend the guy, it's not really working too well. You wanna make something happen, step across, load him up and down. Make sure you keep a very tight grip on the, on the neck because if you let go, the guy will take your back. So you need a lot of downward shoulder pressure. Once you're there, hit the mat, jump over to side control, beat the guy up. All right, so that was how to defend against a high cross to a double leg takedown. Hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you practice it because it's a very common move used. So be prepared, make sure you subscribe to our channel, tell your friends, share us on Facebook, tell your mom and dad. I'm The Squid and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.